Hi everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna and I do apologize for not being on in a while. It's been a really hectic couple months around here but I'm excited. The new catalog has gone live and I'm excited to get creating with all of the great products and here is the new catalog. It just went live on Friday, June 1st and I had my, excuse me, my catalog kickoff event yesterday and we made some great cards. Um, so Today I'm going to show you one of the first ones we made, and it is from the Nature's Poem Suite. And all I have from the suite so far is the stamp set, which is called Rooted in Nature, and the Coordinating Die Set, which is called Nature's Roots Framelits. And it is a bundle, so it is available for 10% off. And I did make quite a few cards for display using this. And at first, when we were able to um, pre-order it, I wasn't crazy about it but after I got it and started playing with it I absolutely loved it and here is one of the cards that we made and as you can see it is just a very simple card but this was the favorite of um, most of the ladies who was at, who were at the event so again the it's a clear mount set and it's a package of two and today we're just going to use this large leaf here and this sentiment here, it says, thinking of you. And like I said, it does come with coordinating dies, but we're not using those today. And I will be using those later on to uh, show you how great those were. So to get started today, we have very few supplies. Thick Whisper White, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then just some layering pieces. We're using two of the brand new in colors here. We have grape, grape, Fruit Grove and Pineapple Punch and the Grapefruit Grove is cut at four and a quarter by two and a quarter. The Pineapple Punch is four and a quarter by two and an eighth and a piece of Whisper White which is four and a quarter by two. So even the, the measurements are very simple. And I'm going to use a piece of the new Grow Grain Ribbon. It's an eighth of an inch and it is in the Grapefruit Grove color. And then just some embellishments, I'm going to use some jewels. So let's get started. Let me show you how this was made. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper so I don't get my surface, my work surface all dirty. And I'm going to randomly stamp some leaves in Grapefruit Grove. And this is a new stamp pad and it opens, unlike the other ones, it just opens like a compact. So I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to stamp off because I want this to be a little lighter than the Grapefruit Grove color is. So I'm going to ink it up, stamp off, and then stamp on my project. See, it's just a little bit lighter. Stamp off. Stamp off. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, right about here and maybe one one more little tiny bit up the top okay and now I have my orange part my orange leaves I'm gonna bring in my stamp cleaner my stamp and scrub and I'm going to make sure my stamp is nice and clean and I'm gonna bring in my pineapple punch And this one I'm not going to stamp off. I want this one at full strength. So I'm going to randomly stamp here and there. And I'm going to overlap some of them. But I am keeping a little bit of white background. I'm not saturating the whole piece of paper with, um, with ink. I'm just going to put one tiny bit there. Okay, and that's it. Now I'm going to do some mounting. I'm going to bring in my snail, which is here somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to move this. And I'm going to apply some snail. And I'm going to mount this on my grapefruit paper and I'm going to bring it right up to the edge there because they're all sized at four and a quarter inch wide. And then I'm going to mount this 
onto my grapefruit grove. And again, right up to the sides, the only border that is going to show is along the top and the bottom. So right up to there. Now I do have this tiny sliver here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just bring in my snips. And I'm going to trim that just a tiny bit. Okay. Now I'm going to take my ribbon. And I'm just going to bring it along the side here. And I'm going to make a knot. This is, oh, I think I've cut about 10 inches. Okay, now I have my card base. I'm going to open this wide so that it stays nice and flat. I'm going to ink up my stamp that says Thinking of You, and right down here in the corner, I'm going to stamp that. Now I'm going to bring in the stamped piece here, and I'm just close this up so I don't end up with grapefruit grove all over everything. And I'm going to put some snail on the back of this one. And I'm going to bring it in and bring it right up, down probably about half an inch and right up to the edge here. And I'm going to drop that down, maybe about an inch down. I do want to have this here and this kind of even. Okay, now I'm going to trim my edges on my ribbon here. I left my fabric scissors upstairs. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in my jewels. And I am going to randomly put three jewels along here. And I'm going to use the small ones. I always do in odd numbers, so I would do three, five, or seven. And this one I thought three would be perfect. Put one more there. And I thought it needed a little something there, so I'm going to take three little gems and put them right there. And believe it or not, that is our finished card. And look how simple that was. Yet it's such a nice card. And you know the saying, less is more. And in this case, it really is. So I hope you've enjoyed this card. Again, it's made with the brand new Rooted in Nature stamp set. And if you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products that I've used, or if you would like a copy of the brand new catalog, certainly send me a message and I'll be happy to get one out to you. And I encourage you to, to visit my blog at www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And while you're there, click on the button that says newsletter and sign up for my newsletter. It goes out usually once a week on Tuesdays and it does have a recap of all the projects I post during the week on YouTube as well as other information from Stampin' Up and um, specials that they're running or specials that I'm running. So if you have any questions at all, you can also contact me through my blog by clicking the contact button. Thanks so much and have a great day. I'll catch you back here next week. Mm. Thanks so much. Have a great day. I'll catch you back here later this week.